Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today's episode is all about your router's encryption settings and making sure that you have the right ones selected. Obviously, in this day and age, with our home networks, we're sending so much information to routers over Wi-Fi. We have wireless connections with our mobile devices and we're logging into accounts. We're sending banking information. We're buying things online. All of these transactions and communications, they involve sensitive data. And when you're doing that and sending that information over Wi-Fi, there's an opportunity for hackers and malicious users to listen in. And this is where encryption is so important. And specifically with your home network, you want to make sure you have the strongest encryption settings in place to ensure this personal and sensitive information doesn't get compromised. So today we're going to go into our my router. We're going to use it as an example. I'm going to show you where my encryption settings are. And then you can hopefully use that as a template. You'll have probably a different user interface depending upon the make and model of your router. But the bottom line is the basic steps will be the same. And just to make sure we level set here and have a common understanding of how encryption is used by our routers. Again, if you have a wired connection between a laptop and your router, for example, the Wi-Fi encryption is not used there because you're not using Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is when you have a wireless connection to a wireless network and you're sending information through the air over that wireless connection. For example, if you're using your cell phone and you log into your bank account, that's going to be using Wi-Fi because your mobile phone is going to be connected to your router wirelessly. So this is the importance of encryption. What encryption is exactly? Encryption, just think of it kind of like a decoder ring. Your device in your router will have, it's, it's essentially a mathematical equation that is used to scramble the data when it's sent from your device to your router and in the opposite direction as well. So if I'm a hacker and I'm listening in on this conversation and collecting the data that's being sent between your router and your device, because it's scrambled with this encryption decoder ring, the malicious user won't be able to understand it. So hopefully that's a pretty good top level overview of what router encryption is, with the emphasis being that these settings are only for communications that happen wirelessly between the router and the device. But let's dive in. Let's take a look at my router, my router's encryption settings and you'll get an idea of the strongest settings and which ones you need to have in place on your router. Okay, so let's jump into your router settings and then we can look at what your encryption settings should be on your router. So the first thing we need to do, we need to access your router settings page. You should be able to find this information or this location, I should say, on a sticker on the bottom of your router. So for me, the IP address of my router is 192.168.0.1. So we're gonna go here. Okay, it's gonna ask me to log in. And just for your reference, your user's manual will probably have this settings location, but chances are the information you're looking for is on your router sticker. Otherwise, you can search online for the make and model of your device, and it will tell you how you can access your router settings. So at this point, we go, we log in with our username and password for our router settings. If you haven't set this yet, you can probably find the default username and password. Again, this will either be on the sticker on the router, or you can look it up online, or you can probably find it in your router's user manual. 
So let's log in now. Once we're logged into our device, we want to go to the advanced settings. That's how we get to the encryption settings for your router. This will look a little bit different depending upon the make and model of your router. But in general, the navigation to these settings is the same. So we want to go to the advanced tab here. All right, after you've clicked on the advanced tab, I had to click on the wireless header and then wireless settings. This is most likely the, pay, the place where your router's encryption settings will be found as well. Something, something along these lines, but it should be pretty straightforward to get to these settings because after all, they're pretty important. All right, so let me scroll down. And before you get all excited, this isn't actually the password of my Wi-Fi network. I changed it. So that way I don't <laughs> give my password out to everybody watching this video. What we're concerned with here is your router's encryption settings. And here you go, we have a drop down. No security. I can tell you right off the bat, if this is set on your router, you need to change it immediately. The other choices here are between WPA, WPA2 Personal and WPA, WPA2 Enterprise. The difference here is that if this is your home network and your home router, you want personal. Enterprise is more used for businesses if you're setting up a router for a business or an office space. So let's make sure personal is set. All right, we have two other things we have to worry about here, version and encryption. Version, there are three choices, auto, WPA, PSK, WPA2, PSK. And what you want to have selected here is WPA2 PSK. This PSK, this PSK stands for pre-shared key. And that's basically the password. That's this. This is your pre-shared key for your router. WPA2 is the method of encryption that your router uses. WPA2 is the most current version and the strongest version of encryption for your router. WPA is an older version, so you don't want to be using that. And you don't want to select auto because then you give devices the opportunity to select the type of encryption that's used between your device and your router. We want the router to say, hey, you have to use this version of encryption because it's the strongest. We don't want to give up any control to any malicious devices or malicious users that might be on our network. The same thing applies with encryption. This is AES, Advanced Encryption Standard. This is the strongest encryption algorithm to date. It's stronger than TKIP. And you, again, you don't want to select auto because you want your router to say, hey, any devices communicating with me you need to use AES. I don't want to communicate over TKIP or any other encryption method. We're going to use AES. So these are the main things you want to worry about here. As long as you have WPA, WPA2 personal selected, WPA2 pre-shared key for the version of encryption being used, and the encryption algorithm being used needs to be AES. This will keep your communications between your router and your devices as secure as possible. All right, mission accomplished. At this point, your router should be as tight, as airtight as it can be when it comes to your router's encryption settings. If you have any questions about your particular router or router encryption settings in general, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm most likely going to be making a follow-up video that goes in depth about how router encryption works. Another resource for you that I will link to below as well is I've written a blog post that goes into a little bit more detail and provides some context about router encryption. If this video was useful or entertaining or you thought it was cool, please give it a like or a subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more similar content down the road, which you might find useful and helpful as well. It'll be 
useful from an educational standpoint. You'll be able to better secure your home network. Hopefully I can provide a variety of benefits to you with this channel. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.